How about it, y'all? You got Hog and Southern Diablo 4 resource. Thanks for stopping by. Let's talk about the Diablo 4 server slam that we just had. Let's go over a couple things that I saw and talk about my experience and yep, see what happened. All right, so we just had the Diablo 4 server slam. It was pretty kick ass. Uh, you were limited to level 20. The main kind of objective was. Um, Test the server, make sure it's ready for the early access launch uh, come June 1st. Kill a Shava a bunch of times, gain a couple of trophies and uh, titles and stuff like that. And main thing was just to get another um, taste of the game, kind of test out the uh, balancing and stuff they had done, the nerfs, buffs, all that good stuff that we had drop on us last week. And overall, just get our fix on the game, you know. You know, we needed our fix, but... Uh, I don't want to go too in, into detail with lists and all of this shit, and they need to change this and that and all. I'm, I'm sure there's 10,000 lists out there. Uh, this wasn't a beta. This wasn't anything. This was just a test for the server. Um, so let me just remind everybody before we call for balancing and we call for all this additional stuff and all this, we have not played the whole game. For the love of God, can we wait until the game comes out before we start crying and asking for more things about balancing and class changes and all this? Because the problem is everybody gave their feedback before the buff list, nerf and buff list came out, and then they made a change to the, these characters and it killed Necromancer and then they had to make a hot fix in the middle of the server slam. Fucking stop it! Let the game come out and then we can start providing feedback. They already said they're going to listen to it. We don't need to make 10,000 damn lists right before the game comes out. Um, a couple of issues that I did see, um, there was a couple of crashes randomly that happened in the beginning of the game. Uh, no big deal. That was fixed pretty quick. I did notice the complete lack of queue times. Y'all, that was so damn nice. No queues, no crying, no whining. Um, the last beta that we saw had like two and a half hour queue times. That was non-existent this time. Um, it was a hell of a lot less rubber bandy and glitchy than it was, uh, during the open beta. I did have a couple of issues rubber banding, but it's probably because I've still got circa 2001 DSL and I was streaming and trying to play the game at the same time. So that's what I'm going to blame it on. I don't necessarily think it was anything to do with the game itself. Um, a couple of annoyances that I still have about the game. Um, y'all, it kills me. The four player party size kills me. There's absolutely zero excuse for why Diablo 2 had eight-player party and Diablo 4 can't have eight-player party or at least six-player party. Um, don't come at me with the MMO. It's not an MMO excuse because Diablo 2 was genre-defining and it had eight players. Um, I'd like to see six. That would be a much better. I'm a social person. I like to play with folks. Um, so if it was in Diablo 2, why can't it be in this game? You're talking about a uh, software that ran on a 486 processor and um, the internet was nowhere near what it is today. So there's absolutely this many excuses as to why we don't have that. Uh, it comes down to just pure and utter lazy developing is the only thing I can think about. Um, the other thing that I absolutely cannot fucking stand about this game is the fact that I cannot right click on my, on my party's portrait and teleport to them. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Um, in Diablo 3, you could do that. You could go right over to where your party is, right-click on the person you wanted to teleport to, click teleport to player, you could go straight there. Why in the hell am I having to teleport back to town, wait for that load scene, go into town, then click on their portal, wait on that load scene, and go back there? That's my biggest complaint. It's about the only complaint I have. Cannot freaking stand that. Fix it, please. While you're looking at all these buff lists and all these Mickey Mouse lists that don't matter, that don't affect really the gameplay that much, this does. Please fix that for the love of God. Uh, I did not notice the massive buff to companions. They said uh, companions deal significantly more damage. And Blizzard needs to work on their adjectives, I think. Uh, I did not see significantly. I don't think that hitting for 12 DPS is significantly more damage. Um, what I do think is these all of these builds are aspect reliant. Um, the legendary drop rate was very, very low, 
which I personally, I kind of like that. It was very reminiscent of Diablo 2. Guys, you got to think about this before you start screaming about the game. We played Act 1. We played the equivalent of killing Andoriel on Diablo 2. You didn't get a lot of legendaries in Act 1. You didn't find a lot of stuff. It was a grind. It wasn't easy. Some characters did better in Act 1 in the beginning of the game than others. Example, Paladin versus Sorceress. Sorceress is very, very painful to level in Act 1 versus Paladin ain't that damn hard in Act 1. So before we start screaming and crying for changes and stuff about the game and all these pro players and, you know, I've, I've seen that word being thrown around a lot. It's pretty damn arrogant to have to profess yourself a pro. But um, all these pro players that keep making all these lists about change this and that, for the love of God, let the goddamn game come out before you ruin the game for it's even out. Shit. Um, one of the other suggestions that I'd love to see for, this is just for Druid, is... Um, the wolves really hung behind you a little bit. I like to see that fixed. I like to see them be at least around you a little bit instead of like 30 yards behind. Cause it got to the point where I was like, y'all coming. Like <laughs> that was another reason why I respect out of them pretty fast. Um, and the other thing I'd like to see with Druid is the ability to like where you put your cursor and cast poison creeper, let it actually cast on your cursor instead of being bound around you. That would be a lot more, uh, viable in my opinion you'd be able to walk into a door and kind of freeze the whole not freeze but immobilize uh the whole group there um other than that a couple of issues i did see there was still an issue with binding your mouse wheel um that was real i was really damn annoyed about that but you know what it wasn't a big deal because somebody in chat told me hey you just have to uncheck the zoom in on mouse wheel option and then you're able to to map that so that was my fault there um, I did notice in the dungeons that um, that had the kill all the monsters, I did notice they didn't seek me out like they said they were going to. I don't know if, that, if we'll see that in the main game, but the developer said that if you were down to a couple monsters, so they would seek you out. That didn't happen for me. Uh, we actually passed a whole mob on accident, which it's my fault. I should be paying more attention, right? It's not a knock on the game, but it was just interesting. They said they were going to fix that. And they didn't seek us out. We actually were at the end of the of the dungeon and we had to go all the way back and kill those mobs. And I don't know if there's a radius on that seeking you out or whatever, but they didn't give a shit. They didn't follow us or anything. Um, another real weird glitch I was seeing was um, like in Core Dragon, we were farming that area, um, which y'all, that was so, I mean, I know you got legendaries out of there, but that was such a waste of time. I feel like it was so inefficient to get all those Level 25, 27, 22, 24 drops you couldn't use. You couldn't, if you found a legendary with level 24 on there, you couldn't extract it and put it on a lower level rare item and get the aspect because it overrode the item level. So I, I just, that, anyway, uh, farm in that area, every time your buddy would get a little bit ahead of you and go in a um, uh, separate direction or whatever in the dungeon, it would give you a prompt that said, hey, do you want to, um, do you want to join your buddy in the dungeon? Well, no, I'm already in the dungeon. So you'd have to click decline. And um, that was just a little glitch that I was seeing. Another glitch that we saw was uh, when you loaded into a party, um, one of your party players would have completely zero health, even though they were like sitting in town in Kovashat or something. So just saw a glitch with that kind of stuff. But um, overall, I'm not going to pick the game apart. We haven't played the game. I'm so goddamn sick of all these list videos and shit coming out and all these adjustments need to be done when the game's not even out. So for the love of God, just stop and let's play the game. Uh, that's all I can say about it. I, I thoroughly enjoy the Diablo 4 Service Lamb. Um, I went into it just wanting to focus on Druid, but then when I saw what it was going to take to have to get these legendary items, uh, I said, screw that. And I decided to... Uh, play all of the characters and get in the Shava kill on every single one. Now, yeah, I was put in a high chair for my last two because we were running out of time. I hated playing the Necromancer. So, um, y'all, I griefed that one. I'm not even going to lie. I was that, I was level 18 and was in there. It was late. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, I didn't give a shit. And I got my second win, started getting slap happy, and uh, made my Barbarian. And I ultimately griefed that one at 13. Uh, so, thanks, Evie, for the high chair feed. If y'all are curious what the high chair is, uh, that's when you're getting fed experience or you're getting fed items or you're getting toted around or something like that. It's being called put in the high chair. 
Um, that's a little term that we're, uh, we're using in my, in my community and all. So, um, guys, let me know what you thought about the Diablo four server slam in the comments. Um, I know there was some kind of hot fix for Necro that was implemented, implemented about halfway through, which was pretty funny. Um, this is the consequences of calling for changes before the game's out. So we, we have no idea, um, what's going to happen. So let's just take it easy on that. Uh, if you like my content, make sure to hit like and subscribe. About 63% of y'all that watch this are not subscribed. So if we could get that number a little bit lower, if we get that number about 48%, that'd be kick ass. Y'all are awesome. If you need a community to run with for the launch of Diablo 4 on June 1st for the early access, guys, the House of Hog, we ain't mile, we wild. Link for my Discord is in the description below. We would love for you to join. Uh, if you want to get in my clan, Plebs for Life, that is the only way. We will not be accepting random invites or random requests in-game like we were doing during the server slam. So the only way to get into the clan is through my Discord, and it's kind of first-come, first-served deal. Otherwise, there's a way for you to get a guaranteed spot as well for those that want to do that. I appreciate the growth. Thanks for the 3,000 subs. We'll see you all later. We're going to keep more Diablo 4 content coming. Make sure you stay tuned for the server slam recap video that's coming we had a pretty badass stream eating kfc and all that kind of stuff so appreciate y'all we'll see you next time